In this video, we will show how to strip FTTH distribution riser with microtubes manufactured by NCAP. Cable preparation should be done by properly trained and certified personnel using dedicated tools. Mechanical impact during preparation should not exceed the maximum acceptable values for this cable type. You may get detailed instructions on our company websites. Prior to cable preparation, read the installation guide for the splice closure, distribution frame, or other device that will be used for cable splicing or termination. Riser cable with microtubes is designed for vertical installation inside buildings. This is the best solution for apartment blocks that contains optical fibers inside microtubes. This cable does not spread fire and provides easy access to the fiber. Let's take a look at the cable design. Riser cable with microtubes consists of microtubes with optical fibers and two fiberglass rods acting as strength members and protecting the optical tubes. These are covered by halogen-free flame retardant jacket with match marks showing the jacket opening areas. To prepare riser cable with microtubes for splicing or termination, we will need a tape measure to measure the cable length to be stripped, an alcohol-based maker well visible on the cable jacket or insulating tape to mark the stripping location, installation knife to cut the jacket, wire stripping pliers, a stripper to remove 0.6 to 2.6 millimeter jacket and open the optical tubes. Yvonne, our installation engineer, will show how to strip riser cable with microtubes. Let's get started. The length of the cable to be stripped should be 2.5 meters. That will provide the fiber length required for installation of the splice closure. Measure 2.5 meters of the cable length and mark the location for stripping the outer jacket. When stripping the cable on the floor, jacket should be stripped inside the distribution frame. It is important not to damage the cable when cutting the jacket. That's why it's necessary to bend the cable so the fibers move to the bottom of the jacket. Use an installation knife to cut part of the jacket on the top of the bend and make a hole of about five centimeters long. Pull the necessary number of tubes through the hole. If necessary, cut the empty jacket using pliers. The optical tubes are usually opened when the cable is already inserted into the splice closure or distribution frame. Use a dedicated stripper to open the optical tubes. Select a suitable hole diameter and check at the end of a tube. Cut each tube. Remove the jacket carefully. It's recommended to perform this operation by sections of 20 to 30 centimeters. Preparation of riser cable with microtubes from NCAB is now complete. 